Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about monthly fire extinguisher checks, uh, which is actually a pretty universal requirement across all industries. Even though we're only talking healthcare specific stuff, uh, this is something you can take and apply just about in any, any building that has fire extinguishers. First, Drew, get out here. We're actually going to feed off of each other in this video. We're outside, so we both have extinguishers. Uh, but we're using the 2010 edition of NFPA 10 uh, because fire extinguishers are so complex that they have their own code. Placement of extinguishers, type of extinguisher, size of extinguisher varies based on occupancy, based on what's required. For example, for an OR, you have to have a clean agent type extinguisher. For hell pads, you have to have a, a certain number, a certain size of extinguisher, uh, typically foam based on the size of your helicopter. In hospitals, in kitchens, of course, you have to have K extinguishers. It's all different kinds. We're not going through all of those requirements, and we're not going to go through all of the annual requirements. We're going to go through best practices for monthly. Um, and what we're using is ABC type extinguishers, the most common and standard type of extinguishers. So, Drew, what's a few things that we need to look for? A few things to look for is make sure that the label is pointed outwards so everyone can see it. The pressure gauge, make sure it's in the green. If it's not in the green, then it needs to be taken out of service and replaced with another extinguisher. Um, make sure that the tamper-proof tag is in the pin and that the pin is in place. And make sure there's no physical damage on the extinguisher itself and the hose is in good shape. Um, Josh, what up? Oh yeah, so, that, so that's a good, that's a good uh, look at it. So also on the tag, uh, it's important to understand that the tag has requirements as well. So these monthly extinguisher checks have to be performed 12 times a year is what the code says. Um, and that includes uh, when you do it the month of the annual, which is often confused. That's something that hospitals often get cited on by their accrediting organization is that they didn't sign off the month that the annual was performed. Uh, and those requirements are, are different. Annual is a full-blown maintenance of the extinguisher, um, excluding hydrostatic testing and, and internal inspections and things like that, which are required uh, based on the interval of, of the type of extinguisher it is. Uh, so make sure that you have 12 of them. And we actually have an example here, because at the end of your, uh, your 12, that means you're due for your annual. This tag here is actually uh, uh, from, from our hospital. Uh, it had 36, I think, signatures? 36 signatures. Um, so. That's a great indication that uh, when you hit that 12, you're at the time you do your annual. Uh, something else that we actually got a call on today for a different facility was that uh, a fire marshal so kindly helped us figure out that um, the tag, the inspector from last year for the annual, accidentally did uh, punch the wrong gear for two of our extinguishers. Um, and we fixed it the same day, but when you're doing your monthly extinguishers, one of the things that we actually have on our, our PM is that we check that gear just to make sure that it's been done, that punch is within the last 12 months. Um, so, again, uh, looking at also just as you go through code and learn different locations, looking to make sure extinguishers are portable, so they move. Surprise, surprise, right? Uh, but they move locations. Uh, a good example of that also is um, sometimes extinguishers are placed in the wrong location for construction activities. Um, so as if they move, making sure that the right type of extinguisher is a best practice for that area. Again, like we said, we mentioned a few earlier, but um, as you learn those different types and locations, it's important to, to look for that as well. So uh, did we cover everything? I think we got just about everything. So that being said, Thanks everyone, see you next time.